the show tonight. My brother Flo Rider hanging out in the building with me, man. H-Town, what up? How's life been treating you, brother? Oh, man, I've been blessed, man, definitely, man. And also, I want to shout out H-Town, you know, this year I got my plaque for selling over 100 million singles, man. So y'all definitely a part of that, man. You I know, life's just that. been amazing. Yeah. I said 100 million. God. That's yeah, a man. lot of records, bro. Yeah, man. So definitely, man. You know, to all those out there, you know, who believe in that, you know, just put God first, man. Everything is possible. We definitely got to put in a lot of hard work. But, man, it's all worth it. No pain, no gain. Believe that. Whenever you say something like I've sold 100 million singles, I'm asking you an impossible <laughs> question, right? What is your favorite song? You've sold a hundred million singles. What is your favorite song? I couldn't I couldn't say my favorite, but I know what I love to perform. I mean, um, it's nothing like performing your latest record. Okay. Um, but um I think, you know, probably performing the record I Cry. You know, that's okay. like one of those records that's very uh sentimental to myself. You know, talks about, you know, my different struggles and at the same time it's a hit record. So I mean that's a blessing too. So for somebody that's made so many hit records, cause bro, you got hits, like we're not being funny. You can't count 100 million singles, bro. You know how to make music that people appreciate. For sure. What is the one key component that every hit record has got to have? Got to have some melody, definitely. You know, I get it a lot of times when I'm traveling overseas. You're like, if I, if I don't speak the same language as somebody, mm -hmm. they always tell me that, you know, the fact that they can follow a melody. You know what I mean? So that's the, that's the key component to having a, a hit record. But you definitely got to have some great production. Okay. You know, so, but... um. You know, melody, you know, is it, it, is, it works around the world. So I had this uh, platform <clears throat> called On The Radar, and what we do is we give upcoming artists a chance to just send their music in. I'm going I'm to let you check one or two out before we get out of All here. All right. Um, for you, when you were an upcoming artist, man, who was, like, some of the people that you wanted to work with that you actually got a chance to work with now that you have made it to 100 million single soul? Um, Getting a chance to go on tour, you know, definitely shout out H-Town with Beyonce. Mm. Yeah, so, I mean, I was, I, you know, when I got the call to go on tour with her in Australia, I was just like, you know, I, I couldn't believe it. So to actually go out there and, you know, have a successful tour, you know, that was definitely a dream uh, come true. That's crazy. How many people, what's your biggest concert you ever think you rocked out that you performed at? Man, I think we, um, out in Canada, it was probably about like five years ago we did a show. I think it was, I think it was like a million people out there. What? Yeah. Yep. As far as your eyes could see, it was just crazy. Wait stage with 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 um, it was just like a 360 stage, and I mean that's probably the tightest I've ever been doing a, a show. Yeah. God, dog, that's a different level of um <laughs> performance. Like that's like everybody yeah. watching. We got a million people. Bro, I know you did all the hits that night. A million people? Yeah, man. I mean, it was other acts out there, but it was definitely like a million people out there. That's crazy. And I performed, I think it was probably like uh, four or five in the morning. Yep. They don't go to bed and kill <laughs> What the hell? It was crazy, bro. It was crazy. It was a festival. It was crazy. Right now... Um, you got you got new music. Um, Stan yeah. sent me a single. What's the brand new? Shout out single? to my brother, you know E40, and shout out to uh, Sage the Gemini. It's a record we got called Snack. You know, shout out to all the snacks out here in H Town. Um, shot the video, had to take it, you know, out west and shoot it with E40. I mean, that's a guy who I look forward to working with. And okay. you know, I remember you know just grinding out, and I lived in Vegas for about like two years, and I remember going to one of the fights and seeing him seeing him at the uh, MGM Grand, right? You know, walking around, and I was like, man. You know, it'd be great for me to work with him because, you know, that's one of those guys who set, uh, set up the blueprint for, like, hustling your, your music independently. Correct. So to actually get a call from him to work with him, man, you know, at this point in my career is just, like, you know, definitely a blessing. Yeah. Snack. Now, now there have got to be certain guidelines to being a snack, brother. <laughs> I need you right now because I don't want no misunderstanding. <laughs> Somebody going to sing this song and have the wrong conception of what a snack is, man. I need you to tell us what is a snack. Give me give me Flo Rida's definition of a snack. Definitely, man. You got to have confidence. Confidence. Okay. You know, if you hit the gym, I mean, the more better. But I think, you know, number one, man, you know, um, you got to have confidence. And um, if you screaming hot girl summer, you better look like it. <laughs> <laughs> You got to have that confidence together. So <laughs> when when I think snack, right, um, 
Come on, Kiyadi, let me hear it. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a feet man. I'm not going to lie. I feel like if your feet toe up, it's a no up. I can't do no <laughs> ugly toes. Ugly toes, that's a no. Um, thick, thin, we all can get it in. I'm not tripping. <laughs> I, I'm kind of um, I'm kind of team slim thick. Okay. Because sometimes thick, thick might stink a little bit. You uh -oh. know what I'm saying? Especially in this, especially... And it's hot. And it's hot Texas heat. Yeah. Boys be like, look at that booty. I be like, bro, she can't clean it. It uh -oh. ain't going to be right. Oh, it's, man. It's, it's a little different, you know. Truth hurts. Th that, and then I think my last thing with, with a <laughs> snack, um, she got to have a nice smile. Uh, you, it got to be. I think I think if you take care of your smile and you take care of your feet, that says But it's cool if she go to Nick and get a, a grill. And it's, and it's, and it's. Uh, she can't have no grill. I ain't gonna lie, a girl tried to holler at me with a grill one time. Uh huh. And she had a big butt. Okay. So it was two notes. Oh, oh, oh Now listen, if she got a grill but she has uh -huh. a nice smile, I'm uh -huh. cool. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a bottom. Yeah, the bottom. I, I don't. I don't think. I don't think I want a girl with a top and bottom. You know, like <laughs> what's your dog? Like well, nothing. <laughs> nothing is up. But you from Florida? Like girls? Do, do they have like the? I know I've seen guys from Florida with the. Top and bottom, gold. Do girls be like that too? I think you like top, um back in the days they had like the top and the bottom, but right now they're trying to keep you like cute and sexy, so they have like the bottom. Okay. But yeah, yeah if you want to see some snacks, check out the snack video, definitely. Snack video. Variety of them. Up right now, all yeah. kinds of varieties. Yeah. Um, have you ever had to shoot a girl down? Like a lot of times, <laughs> listen, he's like, he's kinda <laughs> like, uh, uh, and this is all the only reason why I ask. When you get to your level, I remember uh coming up, I never was the the um I was the funny guy. Uh -huh. So, you know, like, you you probably had muscles. You played sports. That wasn't me. I wasn't <laughs> the, the cute guy. I was the funny guy. So I remember girls used to, like, try to, uh, and then now that when I when I, when I I uh, blew up, now and maybe I'm like, no, oh, sis, I'm, no, please. Turn down. No. You know what I'm saying? So now, like, do you have to, like, turn? Cause I bet you got a team. What is Zach? I know. He'd be like, excuse me. No, ma'am, back up. There excuse you go. me, ma'am. I get Big Zach no matter that look. They already know. What's the big Zach? Show me what, 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 what I'm a, we gotta work on our look. <laughs> Jerry, we gotta work on the look, bro. All right, this my look. You see me do that? Stop. That's a bad look. They know what I'm looking like. That worked. Okay. You you gotta I'm I'm we're gonna work on the secret hand signal. If I <laughs> listen, if I do this, get them. Immediately. Okay. If they if if I do this. Cause ain't nobody whole face itch. If y'all see me do that, tell her to move. You know, you see somebody head itch. You see my whole face itch? Help. That work for guys too. If too many bros get in the section. <laughs> you know, you, if you see me do this, somebody call somebody. All right, that's, we learned, I'm learning tips. I ain't never Boy. sold a hundred million. I'm trying to figure out all the tricks of the trade while I got you here, man. Flo Rider hanging out right now. Brand new single, Snack. Sage Gemini E40. Uh, we definitely gonna get to it tonight. If you could give somebody uh inspiration, man. You know, um the journey has been, you ain't skipped no steps, brother. You, you, you started out uh working. Uh I still see. Matter of fact, um, one time for uh P B is it PBMG? Is it Po Yeah, Po Boy Music Group. Po Boy Music Group yeah. one time for the uh for the for the homies. Um when you first started, did you figure it was gonna be like this? I mean, it's even greater, you know. I think the fact that you know it, it took quite a while for me to get on, you know, the fact that I'm on, I'm just enjoying it. Like I was telling somebody today, you know, it's all about having fun. It's all all about you know staying excited. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And that's why I'm still doing what I'm doing after almost like 12 years of this. Um, I put in a lot of work, a lot of praying. You know, a lot of people, you know, um, who supported me. You know, most in depth, most um, importantly. You know my mother. You know I had a mm. I had a chance to like do a lot of different things with like growing up in the projects. I remember one time my mom gave me like five thousand to try to go put towards down on the car. I went to go get the car, and I was like, man, you know, if I get this car, you know, I gotta get a, a nine to five, and I won't, I won't have time for my music. So I went back to the crib. I was like, mom, you know what? I want to take this five grand and put it towards getting a lawyer to go shop a demo. And she was like, I'm with you a thousand percent. I see the fact that you dedicated and you love this right here. The fact that she believed in me back then. And, you know, fast forward to now, it's just like, you know, 
wow, you know, I made the the, the correct decision to like maximize everything by giving my all to my music. You know, it was, I, you know, when it came down to shout out to everybody, you know, you know, you have your your um, you know, dating and everything like that. I was so focused on the music; it wasn't even about girls or nothing, bro. You know, mm. it, was, it was all about the music. You know, and I I, I look at you know selling a hundred million records. It's, it's, it's I I couldn't even. I couldn't even, it's it's unbelievable. You know, the dedication, yes. you know, being dedicated, you know, and um, giving you everything, man. It's it's all about that. And forget the naysayers, you know what I mean? Like, starting out, I wasn't, you know, it, it's not about being perfect, but it's definitely about giving you everything. Man. One time for mamas. Man. God, <laughs> dog. That gave, that gave me goosebumps. One time for mamas. Yeah, man. Um, And I know it, it's no amount of, of you know, uh, payback you could you could give your mom, but do you remember like the first like wild thing that you did for your mom after you got to a certain level? You remember what was that first like? You know real? what? Even even prior to that, you know, um, any money I got trying to like, if, you know, working jobs and things like that, which I didn't have a lot of. You know, I sacrificed and gave her everything. You know, just buying her uh, little the jewelry I could buy her back then. Right. But you know now, you know, buying her her own house and you know um, getting her, you know different watches and things like that. Right. You know, and um, that's probably the most extravagant thing that I got to, you know, if you buy your mom a house or two, it's always great. <laughs> that's love, love. Flo yeah. Rider hanging out right now. Be sure y'all support the brand new single, Snack. Yeah. Brother in town. H-Town. Now, but the 23rd. 23rd Sydney, is going down. Woods, Mitchell Pavilion. Yes. It's a lot of words in that, in that little place. The Pavilion in the Woodlands. The Pavilion. It's going down. Uh, it's Nelly, a party. TLC, Flo Rida, and friends. They got they got some more special guests there as well. If oh, you yeah. want to say anything to Houston before we get up out of here, uh, the mic is yours, brother. Talk to the city, man. H-Town, I love y'all, man. This this definitely, like, you know, I get a chance to come out here, you know, a, a lot throughout the year. Shout out to, you know, Nick the Jeweler. My, you know what I'm saying? Kiati always man, hooking Nick. us up. I mean, I love it, man. You know, I'm out here. I got to go to the malls. I got to go get me some good food. Where should I go get me some food right Have you been to the turkey leg hut yet? Nah. No way. I need to I check it out. You. You got me? I got okay. listen. You know, you got you. I got you, got you. The like, turkey I'm, leg. We back, we we back though. Like okay. I, I'm a, I'm a man, I'm a listen, I know somebody that knows somebody. I'm gonna send y'all through the back door, get y'all that back room in the back. You know, we just ran into yeah, they be having them things over there. I got you. Them like, snacks, you, huh? No, no line, no rate. What? When All you right. get over there, you you definitely gonna have to snack on, on the turkey leg with the crawfish mac and cheese. Okay. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's different. Boy, that turkey leg hut is amazing. <laughs> you know, you know what? I, I I feel about turkey leg hut probably how you feel about the licking. Oh yeah, definitely, man. H time y'all come down to the three hundred five. Y'all go to my spot, the licking South Beach. You know what I'm saying? Hit any location, or definitely if y'all want to party, go to Studio One Eighty Three, man. Bar Idol, all of that. I got you. Man, I went to the licking um, a month ago for my birthday. Me and the wife flew out to uh, South Beach. Okay. And I was getting ready to make the drive. All the way to the other side of, of the world to go to the licking, and I looked on the map and it says South Beach. They say Florida got a licking on the I beach. I said, <laughs> "Oh man!" Now listen, I'm gonna tell you how you know I went. I ain't get to go to the back room. I don't know what's in that back room in the licking. I seen bro come in. Bro came in. My uh, my Dominican brother, Puerto Rican. He was somebody. Bro came in and slid right to the back room. I looked up. I said, "Oh, it's on back. They got the back room." <laughs> That's by idol. That's yeah, that's the right bar there. we got right there. So y'all be sure y'all the uh the licking South Beach location. All day bar idol right there. Bar idol right there. Yeah. God, I should have asked some questions. I and Studio no One Eighty Three. You want to party? That's on the other side of the bridge. Let's do we it. Got you. Straight like that. Flow rider hanging out. Man, we are gonna get to this new music going. I need you to give me that proper intro so that way when we take off, I have it. Y'all know what it is, your man Flow Rider. Got it locked here with my brother Kiati. 97.9 The Box. Here it is. Snack featuring my brother E40 and Sage the Gemini.